leg is compromised. One more shot. I'm telling you. People forget, man. People have no idea. DDP mentions is his ancestors. No, he doesn't. Have you seen Abdul Razak Hassan? Dude, it's pissing me off, dude. They're acting like Drick He's literally just exposing them for being emotional. It's actually mad how emotional they can get off like little words, you know? Like, it's insane. That's what the people, that's what the powers that be in charge of the world want, though. They want a population that can be easily emotionally controlled by single uses of words because they're that fragile. Um, it's insane. Actually, it's insane. They project so hard it is. Dude, Abdul Razak Hassan, you're acting like Drick has called someone. Good uppercut there from Klein. It's insane. How dare you say that word? What? Klein's winning this round. She is herself in this position. What word did EP even say? I guess they're referring to the word real African because he did say that. But like, you lot aren't in Africa. Like, sorry. Sorry, dude. <laughs> like, I, I hate to break it to you guys. Like, it's actually insane. It's actually insane how much they're coping. And again, I'll point this out. Nganu has not given at any point about Drickus because he knows he came and grew up in Africa. The rest of these guys dipped as toddlers from the country. You know? Dipped as toddlers in, from the country. They have no memory of being there, pretty much. I don't have any memory of me being a kid. You know what I mean? And then Ghanu's the only one who ain't sort of up in arms about Drickus saying it because he don't give a he knows he's African. The rest of them, I bet you Drickus here has struck a nerve. Deep down inside, they don't feel like, you know what I mean? Deep down inside, they know. And this has struck a nerve, I think. It's mad though. Drickus has had a whole community have a meltdown off one word and he made Sean Strickland cry as well. <laughs> kind of insane. And Drickus ain't even that good on, he's good on the mic, but he's not like Prime McGregor out there. He's saying like simple, and they are losing their minds over it. Jasmine's got the back here, body triangle him. Drickus, I respect his, um, I respect um, Drickus, I respect his, um, um, the part of say he represents in Africa, right? I respect the things he's done in MMA. I've, but he's a fing he's a fing asshole for that word that he used, right? If he's a fing real African and he lived in Africa, he would have never used that fing word. He's a fing bitch ass to use that word. Because an African, right? If he raised uh, the poor people in Africa the way I was raised, the way I grew up with how I go days without food. I have to go to my, I have to see my friends eating and I'll be like, hey bro, can you give me one teaspoon on, of your food so I can put it in my mouth? That's how I'll survive for a few days until I can get money. So if we get the opportunity to live that shithole, of course, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to call my country a shithole, but I'm poor. If, if, if I can go to America, right, or I can go to a different country to make a better life for myself, I'll f cut out of my leg to f go, right? If he's a true African, right, he would have understood that. That means he was, he's living the comfortable life. His family had the money to feed him every day. So he didn't have to worry about leaving to go and make it. So for him to say he's a true African champion that lived there and he made you he's a f***ing bitch for saying that. I respect his, what he's done, but I'm, he's a bitch for that. From uh, Jasta Vicious. The reporter who asked the question to Abdul approved what he said, lol. He literally asked the question with malicious attempts. Yeah, approved what he said. Yeah, it's kind of fucking strange. Basically, Abdul's argument is if you were poor and you really knew what it was like to grow up poor and without anything and without any hopes of a future, then you would know what it's like to be a real African. That was his whole take. So basically, if you aren't poor and useless to society, you aren't African, essentially. Was was Abdul Razak Al Hassan's take? It was a weird take, and there were a lot of people in the comments, like a black guy from like New York or some shit, um, saying stuff like, "You know, he's actually got a point when you think about it, even though he's never stepped foot in Africa in his life." And uh, I don't know that that was apparently the point. It was it was a really weird lash out. But I found the whole Abdul Razak Al Hassan interview hilarious. I don't know if anyone else watched him, but I'm now a fan, and I hope he wins. Because I found his whole interview hilarious how angry he was. Even though he probably wasn't trying to be funny. 
Joe Rogan said on his pod, good right hand from Jasmine. Basically, chat, if Britain, I mean, no, if Britain, if Bisping said to Leon Edwards, when Edwards did say that he's the one who did it from the UK and he's the British champ who did it from the UK and showed everyone in the UK that they can do it from home. If Bisping said, yeah, whatever you felt, you're not, you'll never be British. Don't matter how many times, how, when your uh, last generation came here, you'll never be British. You don't know what it's like. So you don't have any right to tell me who's British and who a real British champ is. He'd be fired within a second. Just saying. He'd be fired within a second. No chance at getting a career ever again in media, ever. He'd be correct, but he'd be fired. This is what we're saying. No, he wouldn't. He would. He absolutely would if he went on an Israel Adesanya-esque tirade about fucking Edwards the way Adesanya did Duplessis. He absolutely would, and you know it, dude. Jesus Christ. Nearly getting a leg taken here, but not quite. Al-Hassan said real Africans are poor. I, <laughs> I know he did. That was Abdul Razak Al-Hassan's message. You can't, you don't know what it's like to be African unless you're poor, basically. So if your parents worked hard and gave you a future in Africa, you lose your passport, basically, is what happens over there. I don't know what Abdul's message was, but it's, uh, it is what it is. He's emotional, you know, over a word it is what it is. Respect for even watching this garbage. This is a good fight. Klein escapes out the back. Good win. Dominated as I expected. By Abdul's logic, Adesanya is an African. True. I might make a video on it because it's so easy to disprove all of it. Because Adesanya grew up, Richard and Drickus did. But Adesanya is a real African and Drickus isn't because Drickus didn't grow up poor. Uh, they just... Listen, we can. Do... I don't want to even talk about it for much longer. It is what it is. Politics, politics. They don't like us. None of them like us. Get over it. We just got to get over it. You know what I mean? Stop trying to apply. Oh, well, in this in instance, he said this. And if you use this word against him, it's just like, they don't like us. Any excuse they can to unleash hatred it will be taken. It is what it is. They'll misunderstand something intentionally if it means they can get away with justifiably, justifiably trashing us. It is what it is. Yeah, according to Normie opinion, of course, we already know they think... People are real Europeans, but you don't. So be consistent with your own opinions. Yeah, I don't. Thank you for the $5. I'm being consistent with my own opinions. I'm just, you know, hypocrites on what they get upset about when things haven't been upset about before. But you don't have a conscious brain, like, capable of putting two things together like that. You're very linear thinking, so... I'll take your money, dumb fuck. Um, fight of the night so far. Yeah, probably. One else walking around, pretty much. Thank you for the £10, Otis to Beefy One. If Abdul has such an issue with Drickus, in personal opinion, he could maybe try to win one more than one fight in a row, and the dude nicknamed Judo Thunder could surpass one week, week one of grappling skill. Yeah. Thank you for the £10, true. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's ever going to be a matchup between them, isn't there, you know? Thank you very much for the 10 pounds. I appreciate you very much indeed. I said NDDP is an African if you're consistent, but he is. He's been there for like four or five generations. Thank you for the $2. Sorry, that's how it works. Q, anything just locking in, you guys. Chicken burger. Izzy and Usman didn't make the decision to leave their parents, did? I know. No, no, wait, you're joking me. Are you serious? Israel Adesanya at five years old, after having his bathing servant finish up, didn't tell his parents we're moving to New Zealand. Are you joking me? You're the, this is the problem with you, mate. You're a dumb human being and you're saying things for $5 that mean nothing. Like you've got a hot take in chat for $5. Like stop wasting your money, man. In fact, keep donating. Because we need people like you broke so they can't make any impactful decisions on society. So actually, I need to drain you of your economy. It's a good, it's a social service, to be honest with you, to drain you of your economy. So keep donating, honestly. No shit, Adesanya at five years old didn't tell his fucking parents. 
to move to New Zealand, you fucking idiot. Jesus. Never understood the three kings. So Al, -Has Al Hassan's words, Izzy plus Usman ain't African. Allegedly not. I could make a video on it, but... <laughs> I don't know if I'll... Uh... I don't know if I'll make a video on it. I think I'm scaring Drickus away from a collaboration, I'll be honest with you guys. <laughs> I think Drickus doesn't want to take the uh, the build up to the next level, and I'm worrying him because I messaged him <laughs> five days ago. <laughs> four days, four and a half days ago, I messaged him, and uh... <laughs> he has not responded <laughs> is an interesting one. very interesting one <clears throat> okay jasmine just who divicious going heel yeah, you're literally just him uh whatever whatever gets you by 10.7 DDP, I know. <laughs> no, it's because he doesn't even manage his own social media, but I wouldn't be surprised if he saw some stuff and thought, hmm. Hey, I'll tell you this. Pim <laughs> Pimlet's had me on red for 18 hours. <laughs> dude, that is just, what a disaster it is, dude. It is what it is. <laughs> Pim Pimlet, this would be the greatest prank of all time if you pull this off. All I'm saying, mate. Confirm it in the messages and then all of a sudden I announce it and now you're going to fucking <laughs> ignore me. That would be funny to be fair. I would, I would enjoy that one. But you know, they're probably busy preparing for a uh, elite level competition fights in the UFC. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. They ain't got all day. 